Hi friends, today we are discussing the one more concept. What is the differences between the power transformer and distribution transformer? One by one we are explaining. If you go for the operating voltage, the operating voltage The power transformer used the operate the operating voltage 33 kV and above. We are using a power transformer. 33 kV, 66 kV, 110 kV, 220 kV, 400 kV, and 765 kV. These operating voltage areas we are using power transformer. If you go for the a distribution transformer the operating voltage 33 kV and below we are using in distribution transformer the operating voltage is 33 kV 11 kV 6.6 kV 3.3 kV 415 volts 220 volts this range of operated voltage areas we are using distribution transformer this is the per operating voltage as per use as per use the power transformer you are using in both functions step down the voltage and as well as step up the voltage step down and up both functions you are using in power transformer if you go for the distribution transformer the distribution transformer you are using only step down the voltage step down the voltage if you go for the location wise, the power transformer is doing transmission and the receiving end we are using, but in distribution transformer we are using in distribution area. Transmission area and receiving area. If you go for the here distribution area, distribution area we are using. If you go for the fourth one load fluctuation load fluctuation the power transformer load fluctuations is less in distribution transformer the load fluctuation is high the load fluctuation is high if you go for the losses the power transformer the losses it should maintain constant both losses one is the copper losses second one is the iron losses both classes it should maintain constant why because the load also it should maintain in constant if you go for the distribution transformer the iron losses the iron losses is constant copper losses is variable means the load side the receiving and side means the distribution area side the voltage is constant the load is varying that is the reason the iron losses is constant the copper losses is varying if you go for the op uh, operating current if you go for the running current the power transformer is running 90 to 100 percentage of load we are operating this power transformer 90 to 100 percentage of load we are running in power transformer if you go for the distribution transformer, the distribution transformer is 50 to 70 percentage of load only we are running. Next, if you go for the efficiency point of view, the power transformer will get 100 percentage of efficiency. The operating load is 90 to 100 percentage of load only will get more efficiency. If you go for the distribution transformer, the distribution transformer will get the hundred percent of efficiency. The load is operating in fifty to seventy percent of the load. After, if you go for the cost wise, the cost of the power transformer is high. The cost of the power transformer is less. If you go for the size, if you go for the size. The size also, the power transformer is high when compared to distribution transformer. The power transformer size also is high. The distribution transformer size also it will be less. The flux density of flux density, the flux density of power transformer is 
high, the flux density of distribution transformer is less. Next, if you go for the connections, the power transformer, primary side and secondary side, how it was connected. In distribution transformer, the primary side and the secondary side, how it will be connected. If you go for the power transformer, the connections, it will be happen delta 2 to delta or star to delta. These connections is available. These connections was connected in power transformer. If you go for the distribution transformer, if you go for the distribution transformer, the primary side and the secondary side, it will be connected in delta to star with neutral ground. These are all the points, what is the differences between the power transformer and distribution transformer.